Japan, which is contemplating a domestic sixth-generation F3 stealth jet, but may settle for a foreign-inspired fifth-generation design. Japan's midterm defense review quietly revealed that after years of hesitation, Tokyo has decided to press ahead with development of its own domestically designed sixth-generation Mitsubishi F3 air superiority stealth fighter. The new F3 jets would then begin replacing Japan's over 100 home-built Mitsubishi F2 single-engine fighters. Heavily upgraded. Characteristics desirable in air defense fighter are long-range slash endurance for lengthy patrols, high speed to swiftly engage incoming aircraft before they release their weapons, and maneuverability to defeat opposing fighters in within visual range dogfights. All that's certain is that the F-3 will be a twin-engine fighter capable of mounting six internal weapons. The F-3 program is being led by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and while Lockheed Martin was originally tapped to assist, it now looks like the American defense behemoth is being frozen out of the program. The aircraft, dubbed the FX or F-3, has been deemed necessary in order to keep up with, and hopefully surpass, the air capabilities of many of its neighbors' cutting-edge aerial assets, especially China or Russia. The FX is a twin-engine stealth fighter that is designed for achieving air superiority. By the Japanese mod's own terminology, the technology and capabilities the FX possesses will classify it as a sixth-generation fighter jet. The FX is said to be bigger than the F-22, which has earned it the nickname Godzilla from Bradley Parrott at Aviation Week. Conceptual designs of the FX were made then passed through a 3D digital mock-up system. Data on avionics, stealth and engine characteristics are inputted in the simulator and is then tested by JSDF pilots. To maintain a lightweight body structure, the FX implements several technologies and manufacture slash design techniques in order to achieve this. One method involves reducing or eliminating the use of fasteners by bonding composite materials together through adhesive molding. 